Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manny and this is part 5 of our video series discussing how to improve your foot biomechanics in order to reduce your risk of ACL injury. And in this part we're going to be talking about plyometrics, which in a sense is a combination of everything that we've talked about in the last four parts here. Of stretching, mobility, stability, and strengthening. We're going to combine all of those to try to improve how well we absorb load as we uh, make the impact on the ground. And with this, you really want to start with the basic uh, jumping drill here. I'm going to place a camera first. We will start with two legged uh, stands. You want to hinge your hip back and then jump up, extending throughout your whole lower body through the hips, knees, and the neck, practicing and pointing your foot down. And then when you land, making sure that you, you're going to get soft landing and in a squat pattern to optimize how well you're accepting load. I'll turn around to show a different direction here. Really trying to, again, extend throughout your hips, knee, and pointing your foot down, and then coming back into the starting position to optimize how well you're accepting load here. You want to do this about 12 times, and then after that, when you feel confident with these, you can move into a single leg stance jumps. Okay, so, with a single leg stance jumps, again, you want to get into a solid position, which is where you start off with, <clears throat> with the, your hips hinged, knees slightly bent, and then going through the same motion, trying to extend throughout the hips, knee, and then pointing the foot down about 12 to 15 times. Yeah, I'm going to turn this so to get, show you a different angle, actually. I'm going to do this side as well, trying to extend through the hips, knee, pointing the foot down about 12 to 15 times. When you do this, you will really make sure that your knee isn't collapsing it when you land. Uh, that can increase your risk of uh, ACL injury. So you really want to make sure that the knee is tracking straight ahead. When you become very confident with these, you can make it a little more functional by changing directions as you hop. So, turn the left side here, go through the same motion, I'm going to rotate towards my left. Again, each time I land, making sure that my knee is tracking straight. And each time I jump, making sure that I'm extending through the hips, knee, and pointing my foot down. Uh, when you're done with uh, rotating one way, you want to make sure that you rotate the other way. In this particular rotation, I'm going to rotate to my right, standing on my left. Um, this is uh, slightly more risky for my knee because I'm going to rotate it towards my uh, the vulnerable uh, direction where my knee will want to collapse in. Uh, again, something that you want to avoid, so make sure that you've trained the other plane, uh, planes first before you try this. Rotating towards the non-stance foot, making sure that the knee is tracking straight. Again, you might do this for about 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. Uh, and when you're done, this is something that you want to keep repeating, making sure that you're re reinforcing all five parts of our video series here to reduce your risk of uh, ACL injury. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer your questions.